Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be about Dumbledore. And no, I am not making fun of the Harry Potter character. This is actually an app about flashing firmware to your Spark or your Mavic P4, uh, Inspire, and P4 Pro. In this case, also the Mavic's remote controller and the DJI goggles. Um, no, I, apparently it does not support the Spark's remote control. <clears throat> I haven't tested. It would be kind of interesting to see if it did. But uh, until they officially say that it does, I'm going to not mess with it. So basically what this does is it allows you to flash and back up uh, firmware to and from your device. So I'm going to really quickly go over the backup, but I'm not personally to the point where I'm quite comfortable with flashing uh, firmware unofficially onto my Spark. Um, I don't really have so much of a problem with it when I'm working with phones, um, but I don't know, I just I don't seem to feel comfortable doing that quite yet with the Spark. Others of you might be able to. Um, I could barely afford the Spark as it is, so I'm really not looking forward to destroying it uh, just for the sake of a video because I really have no way to get another one. Um, I'm poor, you know, that's just kind of the way it is. But I will show you at least the backup and I will show you how to flash, but I'm not actually going to do it. <clears throat> so what we can do here, let's take a look. We're on version 192 as of September 13th. So we're going to come in here, download, and again, we're going to open. I'm, I already have one downloaded, but that's all right. We're going to go extract to the desktop. And we're also going to need firmware. So if we go into, uh, let me find here, firmware files, bins, and this is under map proxy users, DJI system bin, and then find the version number for your device in the format that you need and make sure it's for your device. Like if you have a Phantom 4, don't flash it to a Phantom 4 Pro and vice versa. It has to be for that device. Um, you can easily kill it and to my knowledge there's no way to go back on that. So if you flash the wrong one, you're done. Um, I could be wrong. I'm not willing to test that theory on my own, but uh, that's what I've been reading so far. So in this case, um, there's the Spark uh, remote control, but we're just interested in the um, Spark's firmware 0600, so search for Spark right down here. Okay, so what we can do is download the file, and that's taking a long time. I don't know why the internet here is being so slow. Okay, so desktop, here, okay, and it's done. So, let's kill that, let's go into here, and I have my Spark over here, let me turn it on real quick, you should hear it start up in just a second. <clears throat> Okay, there we are. Don't worry about that, it always says that. It's not corrupt. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to run Dumbledore. You don't have to run this in Administrator. It really doesn't make a difference. If you want to, you can. Um, I'm gonna do it just to, just to do it. So if it's not immediately found down here, what you need to do is you need to turn on the Spark let it boot up, connect it to the PC, and then open up Dumbledore. You need to open up Dumbledore last. So if you already have this open and it doesn't say anything, just connecting your Spark won't find it. Um, it only looks on the comms when the application is being opened. Once it's opened, it, it doesn't try to look anymore. So again, you select what you need here, and we would do 
to Flash is load firmware. And in this case, it would be this. So 0600 Spark uh, DJI system then, which was right here. So this would be the one to Flash. Now, obviously, we're not going to do it. I'll open it up, and then you hit Flash Firmware. Make sure you have at least 50% battery, take up to 30 seconds. It will probably take longer than that. But, uh, well, I guess we're about to see how this works. <laughs> uh, apparently, hitting X is the same as hitting OK, so I guess we're going to ride this one out. Now, the Mavic firmware that I've seen the video happen on was quite a bit worse. Um, it was much bigger, and I believe that was by Dat Dig Zero, Dat, Dat Digo. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure how to pronounce what he's got, but uh, he did really well, and they showed it on his Mavic. Everything was working. So wait for beeps, watch the LED stats, it will reboot when complete. You can open up Assistant 2, review current progress. Okay. I'm cool with that. So let's open up my old 112. And we'll just set this to debug anyway into the Spark. It keeps wanting me to log in. We'll do this off screen. K S G six Q. Okay, so supposedly you can watch it happen. Um, I'm not seeing. Uh, I'm not seeing that happen here, but supposedly it is. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> um, the spark seems to be thinking quite a bit over here. Um, but the other option here is, just in case it's not doing it, I'll find out, um, backup firmware. So. What this will do, and I'll leave, compact this just a little bit here. Okay. So if we go to backup, you'll notice in here, it's going to pull in all of the firmware off of the Spark. Now this may take a little while. Um, like I said, the last video I saw was with the Mavic and it took a good five minutes at least. There we go, backup complete. And you'll notice right up here, DJ, DJI System Bin. This is the pulled firmware that was pulled off of the Spark just now with the backup. Now, Another feature that's not in one of the older ones uh, for some of the videos that I've seen is the unlock command. So the recent uh, 0600 update, um, when you were told about it, was said that when you flash it, you uh, it was required in order to fly. They would ground after, I think, September 2nd or 1st or something uh, if you didn't flash the new update. And... That essentially left people grounded that wanted to stay with an older firmware. In this case, you can hit unlock, and where you were grounded before, you will no longer, well, be grounded. You can take off, you can fly, you can do all the things you used to be able to do, and it basically bypasses that uh, forced grounding restriction. So if you want to stay on 0400 or 0500, use the unlock command while it's connected, and you'll no longer be uh, stuck on the ground with an older firmware after September, I want to say the first, don't quote me, but somewhere like that. So 
Um, basically, that's all there is to this. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be updated quite a bit here pretty soon. Uh, and what it appears to be is when I hit Flash Firmware and hit X, it said it was going to do it, but it actually didn't. I think I had to actually hit OK before it goes into that section. But that's all I've got for today. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.